hello friends in this video i will show you how to backup and restore a map list which is saved in a shared preferences in the sd card so i will backup the map list in sd card and then i will restore it from the sd card so here at this app in which my map list which is already saved in shared preferences contains all these data the cash transaction bank transaction and all these data and here i have this backup button when i click on backup it shows a dialog box and it says down the file will be saved to download folder with name backup.exp manager and i click on backup it is saved to the download folder now suppose i delete all data now here you can see that everything has become zero and here i have a restore button when i click on restore button it shows another dialog box in which i have a button select backup file when i click on this i can select that file which i had backup it was backup.exp manager so when i click on this you can see the name here and when i click on save the all the data will be restored so i'll show you how to do this backup and restore in sketchware so here is this app here i have added a dialog component backup and a dialog component restore and a file picker component fp for picking all types of files now when the backup button is clicked here is this backup i have put the backup button in on create options menu you can see how to add on create options menu in sketchware so here is this case backup and the this is the code which i used in which i use in backup button so when i click on backup button it will use this dialog backup and set its title to create backup then it will set the message to backup file will be downloaded will be saved to download folder with a backup.exp manager then i have this backup cancel button in which i do nothing and then i have this backup button so when this backup button in dialog is clicked i write the string shared preferences get data key all list this is the map list in json format so here you can see that there is a block list map to json string so you can interchange it with this if you do not use shared preferences otherwise you can simply use the shared preferences where i have saved this list map to json string okay so in this way you can convert li the list map to json string and save it in shared preferences now in order to save it in sd card you have to use write string whatever your json string is to file path join get public directory type directory downloads and slash followed by the name of the backup file so here i have kept the name as backup.exp manager you can write any other name and then i toast saving backup and in the end i have this backup show which means the dialog will show so this is when the backup is clicked now next is when restore button is clicked so when restore button is clicked here is this case restore up to here so when restore button is clicked i use all this code first is i use this view v2 i define this view v2 as get layout inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot restores so i define this restores as view v2 this layout v stores is a custom view which i have created i'll just show you that first so here is this view restores dot xml and this contains 
button one which is select backup file and this edit text one which is for displaying the selected file name for which I have set a background color okay I have set this background color to blue gray that's why it looks like this so I have this button one and edit text one in restores.xml now let's go back so back to the backup button so uh, sorry the restore button so here in restore button I first define this view v2 as the view of this restores by writing get layout inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot restores comma null now after that I define the button one in this v2 in this custom view as btn1 button btn1 is equal to v2 dot find view by id r dot id dot button one similarly I define this edit txt1 is equal to v2 dot find view by id r dot id dot edit text one now here I have not declared that edit txt1 is an edit text because I have declared it here at top in a more block I have put a closing curly bracket and then I have declared an edit text edit txt1 and if you are not using any other code after this then you have to put an opening curly bracket here after declaring this otherwise this is fine so here I have declared edit txt1 I have not declared it along with button here because I, I will be using edit text one in file picker on file spec event so that's why I have declared it at top so that I can use it elsewhere so here I define edit txt one as edit text one of v2 then I set on click listener for this btn1 so by writing btn1 dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener at override public void on click so when this button one is clicked I use file picker to pick files okay file picker fp to pick files and then I close this button one btn one dot on click listener by closing these curly brackets in the normal bracket and semicolon okay then I set the title of this dialog component restore to select backup file okay and then for this dialog component restore I set the view as v2 which is the custom view so the custom view will be set as the view of this dialog component restore okay and now since I have picked the file using file picker on file picks picked fp so after this when user clicks on the btn1 in the dialog then he will be prompted to pick a file using this file picker so I have added this file picker on files picked event here I check if the file picked which is get at zero of listing file path ends with backup.exp manager so if it ends with backup.exp manager then I set the string I have a string variable path so I set the string path to get at zero of listing file path and then I display this path in edit text one of custom view by writing edit txt one dot set text path this will display the path of the file selected in custom view and if the path of the file selected doesn't end with backup.exp manager then I toast invalid backup file and I set the string path to empty okay this is in file picker on files picked event now let's go back to the restore file okay here 
is this code so after this I have a cancel button for this dialog content restore in which I do nothing then I have a save button for the dialog component restore so here when user clicks on save I check if the path equals empty if it is not empty if the string path is not empty then I set share preferences data key all list to read file path path so this will this block will read the file which we have selected and convert it to a text file which is json string and then we save it in shared preferences all list and we can convert it to a map list by using this block json to list map like here we can use it here and then it can be converted to a list map okay but uh, I am saving it in shared preferences here and after saving in shared preferences I convert it to list map and then display it by using this pass data and set data and then I toast data restored and after that I use this dialog restore show okay so that's all is required for saving or backup of data and restoring of data so that's why in this video i hope this was useful thank you very much for watching this